Greetings and welcome, my fellow viewers. I am Rebessant the Collector Dragon, and this is uh, day two of my transformation of the ultimately positive, the positively ultimate challenge from DB Yoga, <laughs> and um, and it is currently five forty in the morning. I don't usually get up this early, um, but I have to go to work for seven, so. So I'm going to be at work from 7 to 1, and then uh, tentatively I could be moving some stuff in uh, at my storage unit from one unit to another. I could be going to see my students, although uh, the weather today in up where I live, which is up like up, which is in Connecticut. Um, it's really cold today, apparently. Uh, said to not get higher than, like, into the, like, I don't even know if it's going to reach the 30s today. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Gabriel, it's 22 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather, with a high of 28 degrees and a low of 11 degrees. Yeah, so... You know, it makes it really difficult to train, to do sword training, when you're freezing your butt off. Um, but we'll see what he wants. It's it's entirely up to him. So, and then I also have DDP yoga training to do today. So, my plate is very much full, no matter how you want to slice it. <laughs> uh, I just woke. I just took a shower and. Um, I figured, as you can see, I'm not wearing a shirt because I figured I'd show off my not so fat but still fat tummy. Uh, I know for this challenge, I'm not trying to lose 360 pounds or something like like a lot of people are, but I'm still trying to lose weight, and most more importantly than that, I'm trying to change my mindset. Trying to become more positive and more ambitious and try to keep motivation for a long, long lifetime period of time. <laughs> so that's the real end goal for me. That's what I hope to achieve and to hope to win this challenge with is not so much a, a state of being, not so much a, a calculative like weight change, but more of a complete mental change. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, and so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Ooh, so I just finished a uh, half hour, basically. Well, close to a half hour, 25 minutes or so. I'm not sure the exact time frame of Beat Saber for today. And holy crap, you know, well, I've always... I mean, Beat Saber is always is a big workout game anyway, but this, but, um, you know, when you're pushing yourself, you can definitely feel it. And I'm playing, like, in the later campaign stages here, so they're very rigorous with the active, active of moving around and filling, it's basically filling your arms, maybe some ducking, but it's very, um... I don't know. The only thing I have a problem... It, I mean, I don't know if anyone's gonna... Anyone who cares about Beat Saber is gonna hear this, but... Um, the only thing I have a problem with is because I'm playing the PSVR version... I don't know if... I don't think this is a problem with the Oculus or Vive version, but um, the PSVR version, sometimes, like, the Sabres will just randomly desync, and the they'll just fly off the rail, and that can be f quite frustrating if it costs you the uh, level or something. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, um, because I don't know how I'm going to edit, you know, these day-to-day -day vlog, these day-by-day day -day vlogs, but, um, I'll definitely be showing some footage of my efforts with Beat Saber and any other, uh, things I do today. So, yeah, um, hopefully this will go well with the challenge. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that was
was quite the workout. So, it's much later in the day than I thought it would be um, on this part of the of me making this update, this part of the video. Um, basically, I got home from work around 1 o'clock, you know, well, 1, 10, 15, whatever, you know, I, however long it takes me from, from going from work to he, to home. And then, um, and then uh, I, to be, to be honest, I was exhausted because I don't get up at 4.30 in the morning every day. So between getting up that early and having to do my job, which is a, pretty much standing for six hours straight and then doing other types of physical activity, um, light or he whether it's light or heavy, it just takes a toll on someone who is as out of shape as I am, <laughs> I guess. Um, I mean, I know I'm not as out of shape as some other people who are also doing this challenge, of course, but still, um, it still takes a lot out of, out of me. Um, and, uh, um, we do get a 15 minute break where we get to sit down for 15 minutes and eat something. So for a snack, I had, uh, let me think, it was a banana, two little fruit snack things, and a Cheetos, little Cheetos bag. I know it's not the healthiest of snacks, but it's what I had. And I was still hungry, so I bought myself like a, um, it was a chicken Caesar salad wrap thing. It was small, but... You know, it was, it was what I, what I, I'm like, oh, that looks like it could be healthy and tasty and filling, so, so I ate that, and that was basically my lunch, <laughs> um, and then I got home, and I ended up taking a nap, <laughs> whoops, so I took a nap, um, and then, um, my aunt came over, and we didn't do the storage units today, because it's really freezing outside, and I also didn't do my sword practice today, because again, it's really freezing outside, but I am going to be, I still have to do my, um, my workouts, and I'm a, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat some food, I've got some, some, uh, let's, uh, get a good screenshot here, it's, uh, basically just hamburger, rice, and broccoli, <laughs> that's basically all it is, so... Um, I'm going to be eating that and then going off to the gym to, uh, do my first day of the DDP yoga, which is the training, which is the, basically the, you know, learn the, learn all the tech, the moves, uh, episode, which I think is like 45 minutes or something like that. So I've done it before. Um, I'm going to be doing beginner two. So, uh, the beginner 2.0, uh, last time I went to the, uh, gym, uh, I was with a trainer, and, uh, I overworked myself quite hard, and, um, I was, so I was feeling nauseous, and I went, so I went to the bathroom, and I was, felt like I was going to throw up, and I felt really, really crappy, um, but instead of throwing up, I, uh, passed out and fell backwards and hit my head on the corner of a shower, and split my head open and ended up going to the hospital instead. Well, actually, when I woke up, I I think I threw up after that when I woke up from passing out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was not a fun day, so I guess I'm a little traumatized to go to the gym from that, but not really. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, I'll certainly be showing off my gym once I get there. So, uh, so yeah, uh, see you at the gym. So I'm here at my, well, at my local gym. There's actually a ton of gyms in my area, but the one that I pick first and foremost is Anytime Fitness here in Putnam, Connecticut. Um, that is my home gym and the one I prefer to go to, um, basically because it it just has the best feel for me. And being able to work out whenever I want is a strong appeal to not to not pass up on. <laughs> Um, something I think I forgot to mention in yesterday's video is that, uh, I was born and bred with asthma, um, but lately, in my older years, it doesn't make me wheeze, but it does shorten my breath, which makes me reduce my stamina dramatically, so I've actually, so, um, I was looking around and I can't seem to find any, um, inhalers that are current, or any at all, really, but I'm pretty sure even the ones I do have, it's not current. Um, so, um, 
I thought maybe I can try using one of one of these breathe right strips to hopefully um, be able to breathe better while I'm working out. Uh, that's the goal. So, I had some complications getting my heart rate monitor to work on the, this particular phone, um, or any phone, like, I don't know. It just took me a while to get the dang tracker to pick up on the phone. But anyway, so, so here we go. I'm going to be starting the, the, the DDP2, and you see my heart rate monitor is actually working. Um, for those of you who are worried about my health, um, I do have a person using my camera on my phone. They're using the camera on my phone because for whatever, re for whatever reason, the camera program won't let me split screen it, so I can't use my phone to both record and play the DDP yoga. So if nothing else, doubles as a spotter. So if I pass out, I'll have someone here to help me. And I've got some nice aminos here. And thank you, spotter, for letting me use your phone for this. You're most welcome. All right. So here we go, starting workout, finally. So, so really flex them. Now, I want you to reach out and grab the ball. What I want you to do here. Heart rate's at 122, 118 ish. Dropping down to 100. Like this. Flex your quads, flex your glutes. Hell, get your mind and your muscle, your muscle in your mind. Reach out and grab the ball. Inhale, reach out, and it comes down. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, take it back. Arms out to a T. Get strong, hold it up. And trip. So it's back, chest down. Eight. Uh, Ray didn't Come go out as much that time, but I also went faster. Another way to do it is just to bring your forearms back and try to move your forehead to the mat. Now, in this shot, you can get a left hand across the mat. Now, you might have to stay up here, but in time, with your breathing, you might end up getting here. Stretching your toes. Take it down. Who was it myself? Inhale, take it 
camera but uh here's my current results Whew, well that was quite a workout it's been a while since i've worked that hard although i did not pass out so that's a good first step um uh thank you to anyone who actually watched all this i don't know how i'm going to edit this yet um while i was in the middle of it i was thinking maybe i should break it up 
because I don't want people like um, vicariously stealing DDP Yoga's videos, I guess. Because um, uh, I think that you should definitely use the app because the app is really amazing and you can get a lot out of it. Even free stuff with points and things. So it's definitely worth using instead of um, trying to copy off of my videos. This is mainly just to... to this is basically a video diary series. I'm going to be diarying my whole um, life-changing events. And that's what I plan on doing from here on out. So here's to tomorrow. Thank you all again. Um, please um, like the video or comment on the video. Um, you don't need to share it, really. But, um, but definitely com make comments, criticize, or praise, whatever. <laughs> Um, liking is, is also really good, but comments is really a lot better, especially if they're, um, some kind of constructive criticism. So, uh, I guess thanks all again, and hope to see you again tomorrow.